This time we want to look at binomial probabilities. With the binomial probability, it's either one thing or it's something else. So we have the one minus p concept that goes in there. Now by definition, the probability of a binomial situation is going to be n factorial over n minus x factorial times x factorial times p to the x times q to the n minus x where n is the number of trials we have, x is the number that we want to get, p is the probability of a correct, the probability of getting what we want, and q is the probability of not getting what we want. So what we want to look at, first of all, is the probability of getting exactly two correct answers on four multiple choice questions with five choices each by guessing. So n is 4 because we have four multiple choice questions. x is 2 because we want two correct answers. Probability of correct answers since there's five choices is <coughs> one fifth. And the probability of q, not a correct answer, is 0.8. We can get one out of five by guessing correct but we'll probably get four out of five by guessing, okay? Now notice that this part of the formula here is exactly the same formula as the combination of n things taken x at a time. And if you look at the revised formula, then basically what you're looking at is this is the number of ways of getting this many correct and at the same time this many not correct. And that's what the binomial formula does. So in this situation, I'm going to have a combination of four things taken two at a time. That's the number of ways of getting two correct answers out of four times the probability of a correct answer, which is two tenths, one out of five to the second power because I want two correct answers times the probability of getting a wrong answer which is 0.8 to the second power because if I have two correct I'm going to have to have two wrong and if I do that calculation I'm going to get a probability of 
I take 0.91, the probability of not colorblind raised to the fourth, because I want four of them not colorblind, I get 0.6857496 if I multiply those all together, I get a probability of 0 0.0833 that I get exactly two colorblind out of six men.